Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a brand new reaction of Mr. Robot. Today, we'll be doing Season 3, Episode 8. Now, before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate that. And check out some of the videos. So last time out of Mr. Robot, uh, I guess the White Rose and the Dark Army had a plan of who to blame the attack on, the terrorist attack on. And they decided to blame it on Trent and Mobley and Iran also. They kind of threw Iran in there as well. Why not? Uh, so yeah, we'll guess we're, now we're going to find out what the fallout of all of that looks like. Let's go ahead and jump into episode eight. If anything does happen to us, if I don't make it back to my computer, I sent the email to go out automatically. <laughs> Yes, she did say that. She did say that last episode. All right, flashback. All right, dump them on in there. <coughs> Come on. Hey, he's really not doing well. <coughs> I don't do this with my popcorn when I go to the theater, but also I don't get M&Ms. I just, I just get popcorn. Let me know if you guys do this stuff and if it's worth it. <coughs> I want to go home. I wish I could have been a better father to you. Damn. All I'm asking is that you forgive me. You think you'll ever be able to do that? No. Whew. Yikes. Maybe we should leave. I'm telling you, dude. Flashback Mr. Robot seems like such a nice guy, you know? Oh. No, don't tell me this is the last thing he told him. What? What are you doing? You just went to the movies? Okay. Shh. The movie's about to start. Okay, this guy's nuts. This kid. Disposing of your trash in the specified waste containers. Food and refreshments are available. Remind me of a uh, a theater that I go to. It also has one of these intros, exactly like this intro, a little more modern, but yeah. Oh, nice. Very cool. Oh, and it's filmed in. Okay. Okay. It's kind of funny how this aspect ratio gives a different feeling to the whole thing. <laughs> how are you just sitting in your apartment right now? And nobody's on to you? Making a choice to destroy it. You choose to delete because you need to free up space. Because you don't want it anymore. Because it no longer holds value. Bye, guys. I can't do this, dude. Get, getting a whole new setup is just its such a pain in the ass. I've been stuck with a shitty PC for so long now, I need an upgrade desperately and still haven't gotten it. You need to talk to Angela. She is not doing well. Last time I saw her, she was going through a full-on breakdown. I don't care. Okay, okay. I kind of agree with Elliot. I know it's not nice, but you know. I'm there for you when you had your little episode. Ah, shit. I got me there. E Corp's still gonna be just fine because of E Corp. Oh, he sure didn't see that coming, did he? Whoops! Oh, well. <laughs> Consolation prize. I mean, I'm sure he's just doing fucking dandy. Mm, he doesn't like it either. If you guys talk to each other, you guys would know that he doesn't F with this either. He won't leave. Because I wanted this. I acquired it. <laughs> Fuck. Wild delivery on that, by the way. Just give me some time. I need to find my own way to cope with this. I wonder what that would be, man. That's why I think at the end of season four, you know, last season, all I don't, I don't feel like this is gonna be a happy ending for this guy. It's in his head. Some time, okay. Mm, there's some open communication here between them. You come by tomorrow, we smoke up, and we can watch Careful Massacre. I'd like to. Very cool. I like that Elliot acknowledged her fear, you know, because the scene started with him not acknowledging Angela, saying that he's, you know, potent potentially an asshole. But uh, as soon as his sister went, you know, I'm, I'm afraid here, he, uh, he switched. We're so, we're good for the day. Where are you going, Elliot? When you make that decision, there's always that moment of hesitation. No way you're about to dip. 
Yes means ridding myself in the world of Mr. Robot forever. That includes you. Suicide? Or no? Maybe it's something I should have done a long time ago. It's a cool jacket. Come on. I want one. No way. <laughs> Don't, Don't tell me we're back with the drugs. Fuck, dude. Let me get you a bottle. The whole bag. That's my whole stash. I mean, I'll pay you for it. Come on, man. You just did a pat down outside. I said take off your fucking shirt. <laughs> they got their nose up some fuzz's ass, which we will soon ascertain. Pants also. It's how badly you want the morphine, huh? You gonna do this? Life that unbearable, baby? Cute little boy like you. Mm. Oh, mm. I don't. I don't like that. I was a friend of your brother, Mobley. I mean, Sunil. Get lost, man. Wait. This is Mobley's brother. I didn't even know he had a brother. Um. Yeah. Look at that. that his house is like trashed. Doesn't deserve respect from anyone. Do you know how much he's damaged my career? My firm is on the verge of firing me. I get that you're going through a lot. They're not true. It's been all over the news. Well, you think they just make this shit up now? <laughs> no, come on. Come on. The media, come on. And I have no doubt he got lured into some bullshit like that. He's been a fuck up his whole life. Just want to know where I can go to say a few words. Your guess is as good as mine. There's no way I was going to pay for a terrorist funeral. Damn. That's rough. I feel like the encounter with, uh, with Trent's family is going to be even worse if that happens. In memory of the cyber bombings. Martial law is in effect? What the fuck is going on in the city? By the way, I just realized that the attack happened in September. So New York City is gonna... This version of New York City is gonna be remembering a lot of things in September. We're leaving the city? Please, sir, we don't want any trouble. Yes, dude. They've been harassed, probably. Sorry, how did you know my daughter again? Did you speak with her before she left? Do you know why she went to Arizona? Aww. They have so many questions, man. I know she wouldn't do this. Muhammad, Barato. Probably means a lot for them. Somebody did this to her. This country now blames Muslims for everything. There's no room for us here anymore. Fuck, dude, that's so sad. They just use these people's lives as, as pawns and a massive game. Thank you for saying nice things about my daughter. No problem, man. Don't do it, Elliot. It's a crutch. It's a lot of pills. Are you sick? Oh. Her, bro uh, her brother. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Where are your parents? Who cares? I don't need a babysitter. <laughs> okay. All right, kid. Where did I come from? Go down the street, take the train. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> There's some nice shots here at, on this beach. The cinematic aspect ratio also accentuates them. Why do you think my sister didn't do anything wrong? You could probably tell him a little bit more of the truth because you know, it's a kid, you know, he might he might not relay all of that info. You sure this is a shortcut? It's the way we always go. My sister used to take me this way after prayer. This is a wild shot here. Okay. Look at that. Look at the composition here. I don't. I'm lucky. It's so boring and your face is always up another guy's butt. I can do it while standing and not fall down. You wanna see? No. <laughs> this kid might breathe some That's new awesome. life into uh into Elliot's life. Dude, all of the army in this neighborhood? Crazy. I feel like that was the intention here to show that. Show kind of state word right now. Where are your parents? They usually leave me home alone when they go out. The door locks automatically. Do you like TV? No. Do you like horses? No. Do you like Wii U? No. Do you like movies? <laughs> I used to. 
Take him to the movies. Let's go. To where? To the movies. Duh. <laughs> There's always so comedic about this. I love it. How far away did they go? Are they close? Danbury. In Connecticut? <laughs> what? what did they That's do? two hours away. What are they doing in Connecticut? My uncle lives there. Oh. He likes to live by the mall. Are you lying to me just so I take you to the movies? No. You should just do this. <laughs> I wonder what's playing right now. Can we see The Martian instead? Wait, The Martian's good. First of all, The Martian looks like shit. <laughs> Second of all, you've never seen Back to the Future? Really? I have not seen Back to the Future yet. Could do a movie reaction on this channel. What are you doing? You just ruined it. This is the best way to eat popcorn. <laughs> Trust me. I gotta try this one of these days. I love movie theater popcorn. It's just expensive out there. It's about going into the future to change the past and coming back into an alternate present day. No, uh, you can't go into the future to change the past. It's way heavy. Shut up, nerd. Nobody was asking you. Again. No, no, it's much simpler than that. It's about how one mistake can change the world. Oh. Like that might relate to Elliot in some kind of a way. Come on, you're gonna love it. The Martian has 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> because most critics have shitty taste. No, The Martian's good. I like The Martian. <laughs> it's good. There's a real you look great, conceptual surreal element in this episode going on. That I'm, I'm waiting for like a big shoe to drop here. I am rich though, right? Marty, please, take off your shirt. Kid's gone. Up. Oh. Have you seen The fuck's going on over there? What in the fuck's going on in this episode? I thought he was about to get hit. War of the world, huh? Yeah, I thought it was that. He just listens to that? <laughs> Interesting. Things get a little fakaka for a while, but at the end, humans actually persevere. Oh, what a shot. This is a phenomen phenomenally shot episode. Just a great episode. I've been really enjoying it so far. I would have come here with you if that's what you wanted. No, you wouldn't. You keep saying you have something you have to do. Why did you come to our house? Yo, this isn't cool, okay? I gotta go. Is it that important? Dude, this kid needs closure. You're annoying. You are. <laughs> this is a nightmare. You are. So are you. I wish you were dead. So do I. Oh? There you go. That's that stuff therapy won't teach you. Sometimes I feel like I did something bad that made Shama leave. Aww. It wasn't your fault. Or hers. It was mine. All of it. There you go. Kid might get some closure. Did you know I could be president of the United States? Because you were born here. Yeah. My sister couldn't be. Because she wasn't born here. I'm the only person in my family who could be president. Isn't that cool? I would find a way to bring back my sister. I'd put the real bad guys in jail. And I'd make everyone eat Pop-Tarts for dinner. <laughs> and I'd make everyone be nice to me. This kid's great, man. So you'd be a dictator. Oh. It's a dictator. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't know what that is yet. <laughs> so you like my sister? You weren't born here? No, I was. New Jersey. Represent. Looks like your parents still aren't home. He had the key the whole time, didn't he? Yep. <laughs> Come on, Elliot. You had a good time, Elliot. You had the keys this whole time? Thanks for taking me to the movies. Sorry I made you late. Hope you can still do your important thing. Don't worry, buddy. I had a great time. Can I see you again? I mean, you are moving. You're fine with leaving, but yeah, sure. Before you go, I'll take you to see The Martian. <laughs> it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Thanks, Elliot. I think you'll like it. Matt Damon is awesome. <laughs> Oh, look, look how that hit him. 
Oh, no, it's hitting me now. <laughs> For the past couple minutes of this episode, I'm not going to lie to you. There's There's been real emotions building up here. Because you said you were sick. <laughs> ah, that's so good. <laughs> Dude, this kid might have saved him from just overdosing on morphine, like... <laughs> You again. What the fuck do you want? Where have I seen this actor before? I'm not having a funeral for that waste of space. Your problem is you never knew him. If you did, you'd know he's not capable of that. Yep. You probably change your corporate email password. Using your street address, even if it's an old one, isn't the smartest. What do you think you found? If you don't want me sending him out, make sure your brother gets a funeral. I guess that's one way to use your hacking skills, I guess. I want an invite. I'll make sure you get my email. <laughs> One of your shady clients I was talking about. I won't be needing them anymore. The money oh. you make selling them back to him will more than pay for a funeral. Oh! I like how that came back. <laughs> the fuck is this room? Oh, here we go. Time to talk to Angela. Let's talk. Inception. That's where I saw that guy. He was in Inception. Gotta be. He's a doctor in Inception, no? These are such cool shots. Look at the color. Look at the wardrobe. The colors on the, the different sets here. So awesome. Remember when we used to do our wishing game? We'd close our eyes. We would always wish for more protractors, which was weird. <laughs> that is weird. Wish for a faster computer, probably. Oh, Elliot, I'd be wishing for a fast computer nowadays as well, yes. And eat lots of Sour Patch Kids that we would buy from gas stations. And life was simpler, huh? And now we're accomplices to, like, the biggest terrorist attack ever. The ending was never our favorite part anyway. It was the wishing. <laughs> Believing in something. Believing in a, in a positive future. Doesn't matter if it happens, it gives you hope. You guys are gonna be okay. You know who's not gonna be okay? The 4,000 people, though. The hell was that? It's not always permanent. No way that just came back like that. <laughs> There was an email from Trent. Yes. Whoa, 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 I may have found a way to undo the hat. Hold on. I might need to go back here and read the whole thing. I'm gonna wait. Nice. Okay, okay, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. It's also interesting how uh, Romero has come back in here. Did I understand all of that email? No. I'm sure it's probably better to show what they exactly mean here. But there's some files here that could undo the hack. That Romero has discovered hidden, and um, the FBI has them now. So that's kind of how it all goes back into play. And I feel like that's also the way you bring Dom. Uh, I've been expecting that eventually Dom will join the team, obviously because she will find out that her boss is corrupt, but many other reasons as well. Uh, she would want to join this group, and she could be our person to get these files. Come on, get Dom in here. But as for this episode, and I feel like I've been saying that for the past four or five episodes, what a phenomenal episode that was. First of all, uh, great filmmaking, a lot of beautiful shots and the cinematic aspect ratio because they were talking about movies a lot and start talking about movies a lot. That's great too. But what was really cool about it is the emotional elements in this episode. I kept on saying how the last three episodes were really just intensity heavy. It's just all intense. And at the end of the last fraction, I said, will the last step, will the next episode, this ep being this episode, have that intensity? It didn't have that intensity, but it had the calmness and the emotional moments. And I really, really enjoyed that. Elliot going on this therapeutic journey with this kid, with Trent's brother, was, was really great. I thought the kid they cast to play Trent's brother was phenomenal in this episode as well. And... Yeah, it's it serves for Elliot's character arc here 
And I'm excited. I'm now much, much more excited to see where we go now because I feel like Elliot's in a different mental space right now. He's in a more motivated mental space right now. The last couple of episodes, he's been very much lost and just kind of all over the place, confused, losing battles left, right, and center. And they just lost a really big one. He was at the bottom, like where, like just, just all the way down there right now, mentally, especially. And he went and he bought those morphines and he was, I think he was going to do bad things with that morphine. He bought the whole thing. I, I think, okay, maybe he starts with one, but I think that could have led to potential overdose. And that kid showed up, just boom, stopped him from even taking one. And then he spends the whole day with this kid and gets to know him and gets to know his side of the story, gets, gets more motivated to, to, to fix this, I guess, or, or to fight for you know, for, for the greater good, I'd say. And maybe now, maybe now he will finally see that he can be a hero. It's, it would be interesting to see like how he would be a hero. It's one of, it would be one of those stories of like, you know, you did the bad thing and then you kind of, you undoing the bad thing kind of turns you into a hero, but it's funny because you kind of did the bad thing. It could lead that way, but I'm thinking that it's leading down this path of like, okay, me and Mr. Robot, the jacket came, the jacket came back. He threw it away. He was going to move on. He, he brought that shit back. He was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is going to be good. I'm going to lock in here and uh, we could do some good here. Yeah, this episode was great. And uh, one, one final thing I actually do want to talk about. It has to do with Trent's character. Um, Trent is a Muslim immigrant. Um, and you may not know this about me, but I come from a country that's predominantly uh, Muslim, right? I I'm from Tajikistan originally. I was born there. I'm not a religious person. So before you get there, not a religious person. I'm not. Uh, but her story on some elements I can relate to. My, my family are immigrants here in America. I'm an immigrant in America. I was born in a whole different country. So even though she was kind of always a background character, there were some elements in her character that I related to heavily. And there was um, that, that moment where like, you know, the kid is sitting with Elliot in the mosque and they're talking about, you know, his sister and him. I have a younger sister who was born in America. She could be president one day. She, she's very little, right? But she could be president one day. Um, but I, you know, I can't because I wasn't born here. So it's just, it's just that those kind of elements. And that kid, again, was so great. And I feel like it was really necessary. This whole thing was so necessary for Elliot. And it was just good for his mental health that I was just like, I was getting emotional, but like happy emotional about this. And I feel like that's like the real power of this episode where the last like three episodes were very intense and more like thriller. Like this episode was just uh, therapeutic in a way. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate that. We have two more episodes left in this season, a season that I have really, really been enjoying. Right now, I'm thinking it's probably my favorite season because it's so, so strong. We'll see how they wrap it up. And if you're excited for those last two episodes, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.